friend of Prince Harry said that he has a Prince Andrew complex and worries he has a limited shelf life before the public becomes more interested in Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. The friend told the Duke of Sussex told the British newspaper that he had been in a rush to make an impact due to fears that he had a limited shelf life. Harry has always been in such a rush to make an impact, because he thinks he has a limited shelf life before the public want to hear more from George and his siblings and he worries that after that, he'll turn into his uncle, the friend said. It's not the first time Harry has expressed concerns about his relevance. The Duke told the Times five years ago that he planned to utilize his privileged position for good stuff for as long as I can, or until I become boring, or until, Prince, George ends up becoming more interesting. There's nothing worse than going through a period in your life where you're making a massive difference and then suddenly, you drop off, he said. Another news, Prince Harry's involvement in a sustainable travel campaign has been condemned by LBC broadcaster Nick Ferrari. The radio host hit out at the Duke of Sussex's hypocrisy in endorsing a travel movement but refusing to bring his own family abroad to visit their royal relatives. Ferrari said, well he's gone out won the World Wide Web hasn't he? We've lost him. The radio presenter mocked the prince's support for the campaign, adding, he's in his own Star Trek he's so far away, he's Captain Burke. Might be a good idea actually to bring your children down so that the queen can see her great-grandchildren. She's clearly an ailing lady but you worry about sweet rappers in New Zealand. Mr. Ferrari highlighted the failure of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to arrange for their two young children, Archie and Lilibet, to visit their increasingly frail great-grandmother. The couple's youngest child, Lilibet, is yet to meet the queen as the couple have made California their permanent residence. Since the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped back from official royal duties in 2020, the pair have maintained their distance from the core royal family. Nick Ferrari claimed the prince was hypocritical in backing a travel campaign yet refusing to travel to the UK himself. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle did make a low-profile visit to Windsor Castle in April to meet with the Queen, although the couple's children were absent. Prince Harry explained the launch of his sustainable travel scheme which he promoted as part of a New Zealand television skit. A few years ago I founded Travelist, a non-profit dedicated to making sustainable tourism mainstream for all of us and, through that, creating systemic change. Every year, more and more of us want better options and, for the first time, travelers are striving to make that a reality for everybody who wants to support local communities. Throughout the bizarre clip, the behavior of the prince was rated depending on how environmentally friendly his actions were. The non-profit organization is described as a global initiative dedicated to the advancement of sustainable travel options. The Prince added, for our first campaign we're encouraging people to flip the script. We're always being asked for our feedback on our trips and experiences, but what would happen if our holiday raided us? Irony of Prince Harry's support for travel yet continuous avoidance of the UK was blasted by Nick Ferrari as he condemned the video to be a pile of skit.